Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 22, NASDAQ's down 2.5, SP's a flat. Gold, gold contract, flat, 1942. Silver down 6 cents, $23.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude, up 54 cents, $87.41 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down two ticks, trade 109.29. The 30 year up eight at 119.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar trading up 23 ticks, 105.081. The magic number, folks, is 104.699. We'll show you how this shakes out. The euro at 106, the yen trading at 147, the British pound at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is, you got a consolidation happening here. There's going to be a battle right up here. So, what we did out here yesterday is this. This is how you look at this. We had sign of strength here on the 26th. You go up the S&P, this is 83 million. You come down yesterday, you rejected it at 70, okay? Today, you can see what's happening. You have 39 million, you went up, so you're going against 70 now with 39. That's saying, can't hold price. You got to 447, you're at 444. That's saying it's gonna come right back down and try to test this area again. And you know, if you, I'm sure most of you have heard Tim Ward yesterday. This is the whole area. This whole area right here is where all the ticks and trend are coming out, you know? So the more that we keep testing this, We'll see if the ticks and trend come up, but this is the area where the battle lines are set up. We go take a look at the NDX 100. Same type of setup inside the NDX. You have it the NDX. Take a look at this. Now, the, 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 the intriguing thing about the NDX, folks, is this. The NDX is still showing that it was stronger than the SPY, even with Apple getting smoked. That being said, what you had is this. You're going into 58 million, and we did 53, 52. We rejected lower price. Now you can see what's happening, though. Now we're going into 42, and you only have 27. So we're probably only going to do about 33. So that's going to be a rejection. You can't hold price. As soon as that happens, you're going to go right back down. There's the, these are the battle lines that are set up. We go to the note and bond market because they're all moving together. The, the cool thing here is that, you know, there's a method to the madness here. You go to the note and bond market. We, I pull up the 10-year first. What you're going to see, you're going to see what we had done. Let's pull this across right there. Okay. So we were going, the last uh, Wednesday and Thursday, you were going into 2.7 million. And we only did 1.4 and 1.2. Now, that being said, it got to 110.10 today, couldn't hold price, and the 110.10 was going into 1.5 million contracts, and you only did 948. So that's also saying it's going to retest that area. We go to gold. It's going to be the same setup. This is, this is a true battle line. There's no two ways about it. We take a look at gold. There she is. Come on, give me that. There we go. Okay. So you look at the gold contract, we get the volumes on here for you. We were going into 170,000 contracts. On Wednesday, we did 149. Yesterday, we did 117. Now, today, we did 132, but the 132 was going to 193. 
You know, now the gold's not as bad as the other ones. You can see that there was a, you know, expansion of volume, but you're still going to 193. So this isn't done either. And it's all right here. All right, in this dollar. Take a look at the dollar. I'll put this up intraday first. What you're going to see intraday is that the dollar, well, let me put a daily up first and show you the magic number here. The magic number is this swing point. It's been trying, trying, trying to stay over it. And that magic number is the 104.699. Now, intraday, we did get below it just barely and just barely for seconds. Okay, so if you take a look at it, you're going to see what happened. Is that we got down there. That was at approximately 10.30 this morning. And then, guess what? It says, see ya, don't want to be ya. So the bottom line is that the dollar is running the whole ball of wax. You know, if you get low, if you have a lower dollar, we'll have a higher market. If you get a higher dollar, a lower market's coming at us. That's the bottom line. And it's all correlated around the aspect. You can see what I did, whether it's the S&P, whether it's the bonds, whether it's gold. You know, let's go to the oil market and see what's happening there. That might be trading on its own. We take a look at the oil. I want the active contract, CLA. Okay, so the oil contract, 261,000 contracts. The high there is 88.97. That's interesting. So we hit 88.95. Yeah, this is this is still one's higher price, man. This is still an ABC up. That's what it looks like. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. The Dow's up 24. NASDAQ's up 1. S&P's a flat. We'll come right back.